Hike is the new 8HP two-channel digital envelope generator from Tenderfoot Electronics. Each channel has manual control over the attack and decay of the envelope via the two knobs labeled Rise and Fall, as well as through the two separate CV inputs, here and here. In addition to the attack and decay CV inputs, there is a gate input for triggering envelopes, an output jack with attenuated dial to dial in the level of output between 0 and positive 10 volts, and a mode button to switch between various modes, which are indicated by the light panel in the center of each channel. When turning on the module, the default mode is always the looping envelope mode, as shown by the red indicator light. This outputs a continuously looping envelope, which can be used in the same way as any unipolar LFO. In looping mode, the rise and fall slopes are linear in shape, allowing you to create saw, triangle, and ramp shapes of varying lengths. Turning the rise and fall knobs anti-clockwise decreases the attack and decay times, which can get you into the lower end of the audio range. In this mode, sending a trigger or gate to the input jack will reset the waveform back to zero volts. If we press the mode button, we find ourselves in the triggered envelope mode, as shown by the green indicator light. In this mode, firing a gate or trigger into the input jack will trigger a full cycle of the envelope with no sustain phase. The attack and decay slopes in trigger mode are more exponential in shape to give a more natural and pleasing sound when using the output of the module to drive a VCA or the cutoff of a VCF as in this patch. The next mode we get to is gate mode, which is indicated by the yellow LED. This gives you a similar response to the previous trigger mode, except the attack phase only lasts as long as there is a gate present at the input jack. This is essentially an attack, sustain, or release envelope mode, with the sustain level fixed at the maximum output. When the gate signal stops, the envelope will switch in into its release phase and drop back towards zero volts. Holding the mode button for 3 seconds while in any of the previous modes will put you into the random voltage generator mode. You know when you're in this mode when the indicator light starts cycling through the three colors. The random voltage mode gives you a sample and hold style option for creating a control voltage. In this mode, the control knobs have different functions from before. The 
The rise knob now controls the rate at which the voltage is sampled. And the fall knob controls the level of randomness of the output. Sending a trigger into the input jack will override the automatic sampling rate controlled by the attack knob, allowing you to sequence the random voltage using external clock or gate sequencer. To restart the onboard sampling clock, press the mode button to exit random mode and then hold it again to re-enter random mode. Using different combinations of the modes, along with the CV control of the Rise and Fall, can help you in the creation of complex patches with more varied modulation sources. Hike will be available from our website in June 2020, and feel free to get in touch with us if you have any questions.